Welcome back to my channel. If you're unfamiliar with who I am, my name is Diana and I'm a gaming content creator on Twitch. I've been modding Skyrim for the past 10 years. This has been one of my favorite games of all time. And I decided that I was going to make a tutorial on something a little bit different today, still involving Skyrim though. So essentially on PC, there is a console window that you can open up to use cheats. It's essentially a debugging menu. So you can use this to fix your game. If it breaks, if a quest breaks, you can set the stage to fix it. You can also adjust different camera modes. If you want to do really nice cinematography stuff, you can adjust any AI, NPCs, uh, creatures, your player character. You can add money, add items all that kind of stuff, the list really does go on. So in today's video, I figured I would do a little bit of a tutorial, kind of showcasing my personal favorite console commands that you may or may not have already known. Keep in mind, this console window will only work on PC. It is a debugging menu, it's not gonna work on console. All right, so first things first, to open up this console command window, we're gonna press the tilde key. Where is the tilde key? This is a picture of what it looks like. It should be next to number one on your keyboard and above the tab button. So now that we have this cool little window open, I'm gonna show you some really fun console commands that you can use for a multitude of different purposes. The first one that we're gonna be using is called TFC. TFC is toggle free cam. This allows you to move freely with your camera. Also, after every time you use the console command, just press the tilde key to escape it so then you can get back into your game. So now we are in the free cam. This is really great for if you're recording gameplay footage or you just want to take screenshots. It's a really, really useful feature. Or I guess if you just wanted to see your beautifully modded game. Next console command is TM. TM toggles your menus. Also great to pair with TFC so you don't have that annoying little bar at the very top. Make sure to hit the tilde key at the end after you type TM, otherwise your game will be paused and you won't be able to move. So now that we did that, we don't have any menus on. So our screenshots will be absolutely perfect. Whee! In addition to this, you might want to retype TM if you do have to access the console menu again and then retype TM if you want your menus off afterwards. Another really cool command to use when you're recording footage is Suxum. So this essentially controls the TFC camera speed. I'll go ahead and show you guys here. Now the default speed for this is 1. If we want it to be slower, for instance, let's go ahead and type 0.5. So as you can see, we're moving a lot slower now. So you can really get all of those details in when you're filming and make it extremely cinematic. Now, if you wanted to speed this up by the same token, you can literally type Suxum 0.8 and the higher the number, the faster it will be. We wanted to do, let's say five. You could always do this as well, though this is moving extremely fast and is really not nearly as cinematic. However, you can still get the intended footage. Also, my current mod list I only worked on for about 20 hours maximum. This is super pre-alpha what you're seeing right now because I got a new PC and I just really didn't put any work into it at all yet. So we're gonna go ahead and set the speed again to one, and then we're gonna go out of TFC, retoggle to our player character. Another really cool console command is player.setAvSpeedMult. This is essentially your speed multiplier default is 100. So we're gonna go ahead and put it at 500. Now, all you have to do is run. <laughs> And uh, yeah, another fun console command whilst we're here, see how this all intertwines perfectly together, is gonna be kill all. 
So kill all kills all NPCs and enemies within your general vicinity. Very, very handy for when you're trying to film videos and pesky little idiots come out of nowhere. Anyways, this is really good if you're trying to test your game, if you want to see how everything is looking when you're modding. Really, really awesome. And uh, if you're just trying to get to cities fast as well and you don't know any of the COC codes, which I'll get into in a little while, then player does it have speed malt is really good. I wasn't in GGM. <laughs> Oopsies. Another really good console command is toggle God mode which I somehow forgot to put on. <laughs> so now we're in God mode and we're simply unkillable. Cannot take damage, cannot be killed, infinite health, infinite magicka, and infinite stamina. Now, when you want to go back to your normal speed, type player.set av speed mult 100. 100 is the default value. Now, since we're still stuck, you can press really anything on your controller or keyboard. Uh, you can draw your weapon to get back to the normal speed. You just have to kind of press something for it to register to your base speed. So let's say that we want to go ahead and add some gold because we have no septums. We are broke. We're lonely. We're out in the forest. Player dot add item. Now the key for septums, gold, money is F. The specific quantity you can just type. So let's say you want 5,000 gold. Easy. Now 5,000 gold has been added. This works for everything in the game. Uh, player dot add item. Let's say you want lockpicks. The code for lockpicks is going to be A. So let's say you want two. Easy. Next step would be, oh, I really want this cool armor that I have. It can be modded armor or it can be vanilla armor. You just have to know the exact name of it and type help in quotations. Let's say day direct armor. Okay. And you can press page up here if you want to see all of them and page down to control uh you know going up and down in this window let's say you want uh, daedric armor of peerless restoration so we're gonna do player dot add item and then we're gonna seamlessly type the code don't mess it up 3e e, and then after that you're gonna type the quantity how many of this specific item do you want two sure okay so let's go ahead and check our inventory now. There we go. You love to see it. Wow, what the heck camera mod do I have installed right now? <laughs> pre-alpha, pre-alpha, pre-alpha. Since my fob just changed on its own back to default because my game is all kinds of weird right now. Field of view. To adjust your field of view, go ahead and type FOV and your desired field of view. I personally like playing in 120 though that might not be for everybody that is what i like now you can go ahead and change yours to 100 if you want if you want to do 80 you can if you want to do 50 you can i guess that would be really nice for some screenshots just turn off the menus with tm get a really beautiful picture f12 there you go easy i would recommend setting your fob and beth i and i so that you don't have to redo it every single time with a console command next up we have coc now what on earth is coc coc will essentially teleport you to the designated area or cell in wherever you are so you have specific world spaces right you have white run you have the dlcs you have the soul karen you have castle Volkihara, you have all of these kinds of things now if you don't work directly in the creation kit the likelihood of you knowing a lot of these names is highly unlikely so i would recommend just googling coc codes for whatever area like for instance just google coc uh rorik said or whatever but usually when it comes to cities and villages and stuff like that it's not going to be that complex so for example if i wanted to go to uh let's say coc rorik said exterior 06 it's usually gonna be are you kidding me <laughs> I have done this five billion times. Okay, <laughs> there we go. It was 04 for whatever reason. Oh my gosh, you know what? 
It's because I... This is an unmodded game. That's the reason why it wasn't working. Usually I have like an 05 and an 06. But this is an entirely unmodded game. This only has like 350 mods. It has zero village mods really or anything like that. So yeah, that's the reason why that didn't actually work. Okay, anywho. Now we're here. And uh, yeah, it was really quite that simple. So usually when you're trying to COC to an exterior, it's going to be something along the lines of COC, uh, fall grief exterior 02. So, so fall grief exterior 02, you know, that kind of stuff. And when we're trying to COC into an interior, usually going to be something along the lines of COC bannered mare or coc wherever it is that you're trying to go so coc uh white run sorry bannered mare make sure that you spell everything correctly too because if you don't it's just not gonna work also i would really recommend the mod more informative console so that when you click on npcs and things within your game it tells you all of the details you don't even have to google the ref id you literally just have it here um because sometimes when you type help and you know the ref id it can get a little bit wonky uh yeah so <laughs> i hope that that makes sense speaking of that let's just go ahead and get this out of the way right now so if you don't have more informative console it's gonna look like this okay and you can just type help holda if you wanted to get her id but this is exactly why i don't recommend doing this and instead getting more informative console or googling their ref id because it's only giving me her base id right now where it says npc and if i were to place her at me like at my specific location it would spawn a replica of her not her actual self extracting her from her uh current location and placing her at the player character I hope that that makes sense. We can do prid and then type her ref ID. And this works for every NPC in the game. So you can do uh, prid 1A66E. You don't need all of the three zeros, by the way, at the beginning, you can just type the actual code and then move to player. All right, and she moves exactly where you are. You can test this anywhere in your game and she will come to you as with any other NPC. Now on to adding something into an NPC's inventory. It's really as simple as typing add item. Well, first of all, obviously you want to make sure that they're selected. We know she's selected because we have this mod and we're able to see uh, her name there. So add item F like 50. Okay. So we added 50 gold to her inventory. What have you got for sale? My lady. She currently has 164 gold. If you would like to see it is at the bottom. Uh, for the sake of everything, <laughs> add item F uh, to 5 billion. I don't know. Okay. Oh, God. I almost killed her. Calm down. Calm down. Sheath your weapon, sir. Sheath your weapon. What have you got for sale? Okay. So now she has 5.1K. Okay. Really? It's that simple. And uh, by that same token, you can click on the NPC. You can just type remove all items if you want everything to be removed. Keep in mind clothing will be removed and all of that kind of stuff. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to change the game hour. Let's go ahead and check the time here. It is 5.16 PM. Let's say that we want it to not be 5.16 PM. <laughs> Let's just go with uh, 12 noon, okay? So we're gonna do set game hour to 12. Now this works for anything. Set game hour to 24. You want it to be night. Ignore the depth of field. Again, this is an unoptimized game. So that's how you change the game hour. Very useful to know. Now we're going to go ahead and set time scale to 2000. We can just watch the world turn right in front of our very eyes. It's actually kind of cool. Now setting game hour is obviously more effective, but if for whatever reason you just kind of want to do this and have time flow naturally, but unnaturally, then you can. Time scale is 20 by default, so you can go ahead and set it back to 20. Now, if your NPCs are freaking out in game, everybody's attacking everybody, you can type TCAI. This actually turns combat AI processing off entirely. So if something happens, they cannot fight. We're going to go ahead and retype that in so that it is set to default. 
another useful, not for me, but maybe for some other people out there, um, command would be the carry weight. I would really recommend just getting a, an infinite carry weight mod, like 700,000, whatever, whatever's on the market. Make sure that it doesn't crash your game though, because those, some of those mods can be a little bit unstable. If you want to adjust your carry weight and you don't have a mod for whatever weird reason, uh, player dot mod av carry weight and then type the number, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Now it's 1300. It duplicated itself. And yeah, now I'm gonna do something a little bit uh, heinous here. Hi, Janessa. How's it going? Hope you're having a beautiful day. You can click NPCs and just kill them directly through the console window. Now she is immortal. However, you can actually turn that off. You can de-essential her if you wish. We can go ahead and type set essential. Then her base ID, which we can clearly see here, is B9982, and then zero. Uh, zero should be non-essential, one should be essential. She's somehow still alive. <laughs> uh, yeah, so apparently... Apparently, if we have um, the console window up... It doesn't work for whatever weird reason, so just click out of that and then type set essential NPC's base ID and then zero. Zero will mean non-essential. If you put one, one will mean essential. Now we're going to go ahead and click her and type resurrect. All right. So that was a ton of console commands combined into one short little snippet. Now there are some really awesome console commands that let you level up and you know, add perks and all that kind of stuff. I would really recommend just getting a perk adder mod because having to go through this console window to add perks, you have to know exactly what you're doing. And a lot of people just don't really have the time or energy to do that. So for example, I'll just go ahead and show you really quickly. But again, I don't really recommend this just because there are easier ways to go about this. Let's do player dot set level 10. We were level one, now we're level 10. Okay, but that doesn't give you any perks. It doesn't give you any level ups, really. That was just one uh, prior level up that I had. Next thing is next. Player dot add skill. So you're advancing a skill right now. Then you input what exactly the skill is. So let's go ahead and say we want archery to increase. Now, this is called marksman. Again, this is something that you really have to look up and make sure that you know what the heck you're doing. Otherwise, nothing's going to happen. Marksman, and then you add the desired outcome. Now, this works in terms of like experience and it gets a little bit weird. So again, I don't really recommend this just because it's, you know, a little bit more complex than most people I'm sure would care for. Let's go ahead and type our number like a thousand. Okay, so archer increased. There you go. Easy. That was barely anything. So <laughs> again, we could probably do like 50,000 and then have a ton of them. But either way, that's that out of the way. Now, if you have a lot of magic mods and you just really want to see all of the really awesome spells that you added into your game i would recommend typing psb now keep in mind this can be extremely game breaking so i would only suggest using this command to just see what your mods have added and what cool spells you have uh, this will most likely crash your game if you have a heavily modded game so i would type this in see what spells i had and then reload and then spawn in those spell tombs spell tomes <laughs> the tomes aren't f dead now are they so we're gonna do psb and as you can see 979 spells uh, 117 shots 107 words add to player character awesome so now we have all this kind of stuff again this game i don't have any gameplay mods this is only textures and that's really about it. Now we have all these spells and everything. God, the vanilla font. Was it always this ugly? Jesus. My gosh. Now we're going to go ahead and type TG. TG is toggle grass. If you ever need to find an item that drops and you have a lot of grass, this is really good. You can just toggle this on and off. Um, if you ever need to, or if you just want to see what's going on in your game without the hindrance of grass, this is also pretty effective. We're going to go ahead and retoggle grass back on. Okay, so let's say that your game is super foggy or it's rainy. Just in general, the weather is not what you currently want. 
that's fine we can go ahead and force the weather now i would recommend just googling a set of force weather commands uh, but for this specific instance we're just going to be forcing the weather to be a clear sunny day so we're going to do fw which is force weather 0010 e1 f2 yay nice and sunny perfect all right so let's say that you want to go ahead and break in somebody's house this is a highly effective method just make sure that you have the door selected and type unlock now the door has effectively been unlocked and you can enter to your heart's content so don't hold me accountable if people start attacking you and going crazy so let's go ahead and say your character gets stuck somewhere. Make sure that nothing is selected in your console menu and type TCL. This is terrain collision. Essentially what you're doing is disabling it. So now we can go through objects. If your character ever gets stuck, this is extremely important to know. Okay. And TCL can also be used on your followers and NPCs. So we could literally just do this, but we are in an interior cell right now. So... It's just going to show nothing. <laughs> Make sure that you TCL again to turn terrain collision on. Final one is show race menu, which hopefully you have race menu. I mean, I don't really know of any modded game that doesn't have a race menu in it. But anyways, if you want to change something about your character, you can and you can go ahead and change their name whatever you want etc etc this will actually create a new little save for you so if you try to reload the prior name it'll make a new name with new saves if that makes sense anyways i think this tutorial just about sums it up for a lot of the best most effective console commands for your desired needs uh, with whatever you're doing in your game so we can go ahead and type qqq which will then exit you out of the game i did forget to mention something super important that everybody should know about if you go ahead and open up your console window and select an item, it can be anything in the entire game. Let's say you're having an issue with something or it's floating, et cetera, et cetera. You can go ahead and open up console, type disable, and it will be gone. On the flip side, you can go ahead and retype enable as long as that same object is selected and it will reappear in your game. This is very handy for if you find a lot of floating objects and stuff, though long term to exterminate this problem, I would highly recommend creating your own patch in the creation kit. I hope that this video is useful to anyone out there who's an avid Skyrim enjoyer as I have been all of these years. I never knew about a lot of these console commands until maybe like four years ago and it completely changed my gaming lifestyle. My Skyriming lifestyle if you will. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.